Welcome to the Hayward Universal 8 Series Gas Heater Training Video. This video will cover installation and startup along with basic troubleshooting that may be needed during startup for both residential and commercial models. It is provided for you to better understand our products and how they operate. We will be covering both the residential and commercial ASME heaters and will note where there are differences. This product must be installed and serviced by authorized personnel qualified in pool and spa heater installation. Before beginning installation, make sure to read the Universal 8 Series installation manual included with the heater carefully and completely. This video is designed to serve as a quick overview and does not replace or supersede the detailed installation or operation requirements set forth in the product's owner's and installation manual. For a free copy of the manual, please visit Hayward.com. Do not drop the heater from a truck tailgate to the ground. This may cause damage to the heater. Make sure you have the needed equipment or enough people to unload the heater properly. When uncrating the heater, you will find that it is tied down to the pallet by three screws, one located at the rear of the heater and two more located inside the front panel, which will need to be removed for access. Remove these screws and lift the heater off the pallet. The heater may be installed at any altitude up to 10,100 feet above sea level, provided the appropriate modifications are performed. The altitudes which require modification vary depending upon the model. Parts necessary to convert the heater for outdoor installation at altitudes up to 7,700 feet are included with the heater. Consult the installation manual for more information on high altitude installations. When selecting a suitable location for the heater, keep in mind that it is a gas appliance and as such, the installation must comply with national, state, and local codes. This will include the National Fuel Gas Code or the Canadian Code. Pay close attention to the location of the heater in reference to public walkways, adjacent buildings, windows, and building openings. If you are not familiar with these codes, consult a licensed gas professional familiar with gas pool heaters for assistance. If the Universal 8 Series gas heater is installed outdoors, the heater must have 36-inch clearance over the top, 24-inch clearance in front, 6-inch in back, 12-inch on the water connection side, and 6 inches on the side opposite the water connections. The heater cannot be installed under a deck. Do not install where the water spray from a sprinkler can contact the heater. Do not install within 24 inches of any outdoor HVAC equipment. Do not install where growth of shrubs over time may interfere with the clearances stated in the manual. If the heater is to be installed indoors, consult the installation manual for venting instructions. Keep it in mind that due to safety concerns and the critical nature of indoor installations, the venting should only be done by a qualified ventilation contractor familiar with gas pool heaters. If the heater is to be enclosed or installed indoors, it must have a combustion air vent commencing within 12 inches of the bottom of the enclosure. A ventilation air vent will be needed if installed indoors commencing within 12 inches of the top of the enclosure. See the installation manual for specifics on this type of installation. The Universal 8 Series gas heater is designed so that it can be installed with the water connections located on either the right or left hand side. Heaters are factory shipped with right side water connections. To move the connections to the left side, follow the instructions found in the installation manual. Remember to rotate the heat exchanger, don't flip it. A trained service technician should perform these steps before the heater is installed. The residential heater model is equipped with a CPVC union kit, while a CPVC flange nipple is bolt connected to the commercial heater model. These are used to accommodate water piping to and from the pool or spa. These pipe nipples will accept PVC piping by solvent welding using the correct PVC glue. Assemble the union kit or flange nipple to the heater prior to plumbing. Tighten union nuts or bolts securely before gluing fittings or pipe to the nipples or flange. It can be difficult to align unions for tightening if they are glued to the pipe before connecting to the heater. Make sure the seals are in place on the header for the residential heater and on the flange for the commercial heater. Both fittings will accept either a 2 inch pipe or a bushing allowing the nipple to accept 2.5 inch pipe. 
the minimum allowable water flow rate shown on the screen and in your installation manual varies depending upon the heater model. The maximum flow rate is 125 gallons per minute on all heaters. If your pump and filter normal flow rate exceeds 125 gallons per minute, an external bypass must be installed. Damage caused by flow rates outside of the allowable limits is not covered under the warranty. Some local or state approving authorities may require a pressure relief valve to be installed on the heater. If one is required in your area, the header has a 3 quarter inch port for this purpose. See installation manual for more information on installation and sizing of pressure relief valves. A relief valve must be ordered separately for the residential heater. The commercial heater comes equipped with a relief valve. It is required that licensed electricians do all electrical wiring. Hazardous voltage can shock, burn, cause death, or serious property damage. To reduce the risk of electrical shock, do not use an extension cord to connect unit to electric supply. All electrical wiring must be in conformance with applicable local, national codes and regulations. Universal 8 series gas heaters require electricity to operate. They can be wired for either 120 or 240 volts AC. The heater is equipped with a pair of voltage selector plugs, which are accessed by removing the front door of the heater. The heater ships with a 240 volt plug installed on the fuse circuit board located in the electrical compartment behind the control board. If the heater is connected to 120 volts, the 120 volt plug must be installed. Wiring of the heater for high voltage can be accomplished from either the left or right side of the heater. Wire the heater according to the wiring diagram located in the heater and also in the installation manual. If the heater is to be automated by an external control system such as Hayward's ProLogic, connections for the controller are made in the same panel as the main power. Low voltage wires must be run in their own conduit. Make connections per the wiring diagram located in the electrical connection panel and the installation manual. The National Electric Code, NEC, and most other codes require that all metallic components of a pool structure, including reinforcing steel, metal fittings, and above-ground equipment, be bonded together with a solid copper conductor wire. This heater must be connected to a bonding grid with number 8 bare wire in the U.S. or number 6 bare wire in Canada. All Hayward heaters are designed for copper conductors only. A bonding lug is provided on each side of the heater to ensure that this requirement is met. Installation of gas piping should only be attempted by a qualified gas installer and should conform to all state and local regulations along with national fuel gas codes and or the Canadian code. Information on gas pipe sizing and installation can be found in the installation manual. The gas valve is located on the left side of the heater, but gas lines can enter from either side. Be sure to remove the plug from the gas valve before attaching gas piping. Gas pressure should always be checked after installation. Procedures for checking gas pressure are in the installation manual. The water pressure switch is preset at the factory for the majority of installations. In cases where the heater is installed either below the surface of the pool or above the surface of the pool, the water pressure switch may need to be adjusted. Please refer to the manual for this adjustment or call your Hayward technician for help. The heater is equipped with a temperature control for controlling the pool and spa water temperatures. Individual pool and spa set points can be entered using the keypad. The control displays the pool or spa water temperature. If a problem were to occur, a diagnostic code will be displayed to help direct a technician in solving the problem. The mode button is used to set the heater for pool or spa operation. Once set to either pool or spa, use the up and down arrows to adjust the set point to the desired temperatures. There are three modes for heater operation which must be manually set. Pool. The heater will operate as needed to warm the pool to the set temperature. Spa. The heater will operate as needed to warm the spa to the set temperature. Standby. The heater will not operate in standby mode. Let's now talk about setting the control for operation with a remote controller such as Hayward's ProLogic. Using the mode button, place the heater in standby. Simultaneously, press and hold the mode and down arrow for approximately 3 seconds. A BO will be displayed on the screen. 
Now heater must be placed in either the pool or spa mode for remote control. The heater thermostat will now function as a high limit only and will not allow the heater to heat beyond 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Please refer to the Universal 8 Series Manual for information about temperature setting limits. The following are possible error codes when first firing the heater. L-O. This is normally associated with low or no water flow. Make certain the pump is running and the water lines are free of air. Allow a few minutes after turning on the pump for this air to clear. This allows time for the pump to prime and the air to be cleared from the lines. If the heater has an external bypass, it may need to be adjusted to allow sufficient water flow through the heater. Check to make sure the filter is clean. If this is not the problem, consult the manual or troubleshooting guide for further troubleshooting instructions. IF. This means the heater failed to ignite. Make sure the gas shutoff valve is open. Make certain the gas control valve is in the on position. If all gas valves are open or on and IF error still occurs, check the gas pressure. Instructions and required pressures can be found in the service and installation manual or the troubleshooting guide. AO. The AO code is displayed when the blower vacuum switch fails to close on a call for heat. On new installation, this is sometimes caused by a failure to change the voltage selector plug from 240 volts to 120 volts when the heater is wired for a 120 volt operation. Determine if the heater is wired for 120 volts, and if so, make sure the 120 volt plug is installed. For professional help and service, go to Hayward.com and select Dealer Locator, which you will see at the top left of the website navigation bar. Next, provide the postal code of where the system is installed, as well as 1. A search radius. 2. Pool type. 3 product repair and service, 4, heaters. Lastly, select Submit and you will see all local Hayward authorized service centers who can assist with the Universal 8 Series heater installation, operation, and service. Remember to visit Hayward Pool Products at www.hayward.com along with our social media sites for helpful information about your Hayward products.